Our uh, choir from Truro has released a song to mark the G7 Summit. In Cornwall next month, 10,000 children from around the world have now signed up to learn and sing the song after hearing the Truro Cathedral Choir version. And as Grace Pascoe now reports, all the children involved hope their voices will be heard by the world leaders heading to the duchy next month. Cathedral's choristers to the pupils of Madryn Daniel School near Penzance and beyond. So far 10,000 children worldwide are preparing for the G7 summit by singing the G7 song. The hope is that our world leaders will hear their voices and address what's important to them. I think they should be talking more about Covid, which they probably are, because Covid is just a big deal right now and like every child and adult and everyone just wants it over, so then it's just a normal world and we can just like have fun. Help like animals and people like make the world better. If they're going to come here, they need to talk about the pollution we have in our seas because it's just really important that we keep our planet safe in this way. Esme Page founded Sing to G7 to ensure children's voices are at the heart of G7 2021. For young children hearing G7, they might think, is it a shoe size? What, what is it? You know, and so it's going to be on our screens all the time. And the idea was, how do we make it relevant to them? And how do we get their voices heard? Because after all, the leaders are meeting to decide all kinds of things to do with their future. And we're doing it through song. It's hoped the song, written by Sir Tim Rice and Peter Hobbs, will bring children from around the world together in a safe way. With technology these days, it can bring people together across oceans. The song is really a vehicle for that, isn't it? For that coming together, for those children's voices being united, people from different cultures, different backgrounds. We do have wonderful educational resources on the Sing to G7 website, some of which deal with some of the issues around things raised in the song and beyond into G7 issues. Today, Christine Judge was in charge of teaching pupils at Madryn Daniels School the G7 song. There were things that they recognised, so they recognised the seven wonders of the world, the seven colours of the rainbow, so you've already got their attention and then alongside that it's bringing through the issues that we might want to consider and talk about further to do with G7. This is an ambitious musical message for world leaders. Let's hope they're in tune when they gather in Carbis Bay. Grace Pascoe, ITV News.